Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Finance Tube. Your friend and finance guru Vishal Thakkar yet again with a very interesting video on budget and its impact on you. Now friends, a lot of people worry that how will budget impact me as a person? So let's understand budget impact in four key pointers. Point number one, we'll talk about MSME, that's micro, small and medium enterprises. Point number two, we'll talk about impact on individual taxpayers. Point number three, we will talk about the changes in TDS provisions. And point number four, we'll talk about the changes that have happened in capital gains scheme. Point number one, for micro, small and medium enterprises. Government has recently launched a scheme of giving a loan to MSME up to one crore within 59 minutes. GST registered SMEs will get 2% rebate on incremental loan of 1 crore rupees. Government has also increased the procurement from SMEs to the extent of 25% of which at least 3% of the sourcing will be done from women oriented MSMEs. What does this mean? This means that capital flows towards MSME is expected to improve. Number two, uh, once government starts sourcing more from SMEs, uh, SMEs will get more revenue from the government sector itself. So overall, a positive impact for small and medium enterprises. Point number two, for individual taxpayers. Now the budget says that the tax rebate has been extended to individual taxpayers having an income up to rupees 5 lakhs. That means person having gross total income up to 6.5 lakhs if they invest into specified instruments like provident fund, insurance, interest on their housing loans and other ATC investments would not have to pay any tax. Let's understand the impact of this. First of all, most people started assuming that the tax slab of 2.5 lakhs to 5 lakhs has been scrapped. This is not the case. What government has done is, government has merely extended the tax rebate which was available up to 2.5 lakhs to 5 lakh of rupees. Plus, the 1.5 lakh of rupees is nothing but your regular ATC investments which includes your ELSS, PF contribution, insurance and interest on your housing loan. So, it is a welcome move where the government is extending a tax benefit to individual taxpayers. However, we also need to read it with care because the slabs are still intact. Point number three, changes in TDS provisions. TDS provisions have been changed to have a limit of 40,000 from the existing limit of 10,000. That means now no longer any TDS needs to be deducted if the payment with one party is less than 40,000 rupees. This is a welcome step because it reduces administrative burden. Also TDS on rent, the limit has increased from 1,80,000 to 2,40,000. That means people whose income mainly is rent will also enjoy some administrative relief. Point four, the rollover impact of exemption under section 54 in capital gain which I usually call it as rich man section has been given for purchase of two residential houses up to two crores and a person can avail this benefit once in his lifetime which means that now no longer you have to worry about searching a special capital gain account and deposit money there you can conveniently invest in not one but two properties from the sale proceeds of the earlier one. The impact, this will boost low income housing and people would be able to buy more than one low value houses in the shorter run. So these were salient features of the budget in absolute brief. Do write to me in comment section if you want a more detailed video or any specific area which you haven't understood with regard to this interim budget. Also, don't forget to watch our other video which explains the difference between interim budget and full budget. 
and yes if you haven't subscribed to our channel as yet subscribe today our channel finance tube